Hello, my collective lovelies. Elsie here with a general read. Look at that for the whole collective. So I have a little bit of time on my hands today. And I thought uh, since I've got the bonus reads all done, that I've come back here and just offer a collective reading. I haven't done one of these in a while. I just haven't had the time to do it. It isn't that I don't like to do them for you. I just haven't had the time to do it. So I'm just going to throw some cards, my friends. And this could be for any sign. I am going to call out the signs and symbols as you need to know them. So you can kind of keep track of what's going on if you're not, if you're not uh, the one who is actually reading tarot by now. And um, I am just going to tell you what's going on. So as per usual, this is not going to have any date or time on it. When you find it, you will, or when YouTube pushes it to you. If you want YouTube to push these videos whenever I upload them, please hit that uh, subscribe button and then hit the bell button and you'll know when I'm uploading. Just want to let you know that there is a sale on right now, um, and it's only till the end of June, uh, but it is 10% off. So I've left a, I put a comment down up below this video here if you're interested in experiencing a private read, if you've never done that before. My most reasonably priced private read is $40, and you'll get 10% off of that. So whatever prices are posted, you will get 10% off of that price. You'll get your discount on, um, you get your discount when you uh, actually book the appointment on checkout. Okay. Enough of the blah, blah. Let's find out what's going on for the collective, please. Whatever energies are in the collective, please. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the, the collective, please? My beautiful collective. Tell me about the collective, please. Could be talking about a Cancer. Maybe someone who is Sagittarius. Um, also Leo and uh, Aries in this reading. But I, I want to say that uh, with this chariot energy here, I feel like somebody here is... There's a queen of wands here, feminine or masculine, that is ready to move forward here. It feels like you are ready to move forward. I want to say that um, things are going pretty good in your life right now and that you're feeling very balanced. Whatever it is that you've decided that you're going to take on, I want to say. The queen is taking, taking on a new path, taking on something that is um, the queen never really does anything that is not that doesn't bring passion or makes her feel like she must move forward this person is also the queen of wands as somebody I always call this is Sagittarius to me it's the weirdo I'm, I'm a Sag rising right and um, the thing is is uh, and, and I, I say that in the most kind way right um, because Sagittarius is on their own path they're doing their own thing and um, they don't really care what other people think about them. They're just being their authentic self. And not everybody's that way. It always is going to depend on your moon and your rising or whatever's going on in your chart. But for the for the, for the most part, Sagittarius is the one who is the adventurer. I'm just going to go try this and I'm going to try that. So I feel like you're out on some sort of a path or ready to leave um, on some sort of um, an excursion or an adventure here. Uh, because the Queen of Wands is the adventurer. Also the person who isn't scared of falling down and, and scuffing their knees. They're not scared of that because this queen is sitting on the throne because everything that came to kill her made her stronger. She's forged through fire. So this is a pretty, it's pretty bossed up energy here, whether you're feminine or masculine. I want to say you're keeping your feelings out of it. That you, What you do is you're just trying to go for the victory here. I think that you're manifesting victory with whatever this is. We do have the fool. Yeah, you're going on some sort of a new path. And I want to say not just a new path, because I feel like it's it's not something that you're doing impulsively, I don't think, because the Queen of Wands is here, and she could tend to be a little bit impulsive, right? She's independent, does what she wants, when she wants to do it. She doesn't ask you, doesn't ask me, and she just does the thing. But I feel like the fool energy is telling me that you've thought about it, because when the fool is in the upright, it's... it's um, I see this as Aries because I'm an energy reader, right? And uh, please understand that when I read the cards, I read them as an energy reader because I'm not an astrologer. And uh, so the energy that it gives me is Aries because this is the beginning of something new. But it's also um, Gemini energy. You've already you've already looked at everything. You know what you're up against. You know what this new path is going to bring. Um, you're ready to take a small risk here, I feel, um, to take a leap of faith. And I feel like what you're doing is you're jumping into the chariot. You're taking a leap of faith to jump into the chariot to go get the victory. Tell me what's on the path of the fool, please. The fool is you and I, right? We um, we have card number zero. And uh, card number zero is about being everything and being nothing. It's like, it's nothing right now because we're right at the beginning and we haven't taken a step off the, uh, the edge yet. But it is, it has the possibility of being everything. I feel like you're keeping your feelings out of it. I feel like you're going purely on fire and instinct. We have the five of swords in the reverse, and I don't want to fight with you about it. I feel like you're not telling anybody. I feel like you're not telling anybody about what you're about to do. Um, and maybe it's maybe it's a close bestie, but I don't even think it's that. The five of swords to me in the reverse is I'm, I'm not going to fight about it. Yeah, I, I just, I figured out my own resolution. I'm not going to fight you about it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let go of 
any resentments or anything. I'm leaving everything in the past and I'm going to go forward on this path here with the fool. I feel like you are, you're, you've decided that you want peace over confrontation. And so I feel like you're doing this on your own. You're not really telling anybody what you're going to do or where you're going to go. We do have the death card because you've transformed. It feels like there is some sort of a new path. You are completely ending some sort of an old cycle that you were in. That's what it feels like. So whatever the cycle is for you, um, whether it's people pleasing or maybe it's a relationship, it could be a job. It feels like you're about to experience um, some transformational energy. You're putting some things to rest. I feel like what you're doing is like you're killing off some things. I want to say either the relationships or maybe you're leaving the job or maybe you've decided that you're just going to pack up and move to Dubai. I don't know. <laughs> I always, I always threaten that whenever I'm talking to somebody. I'm just going to leave this country here in Canada. I'm just going to pack up and go to Dubai. <laughs> so I feel like there is um, some sort of a transformation that's coming here, my friend. And I feel like you're really not telling anybody else what's going on. That you're just going to go away quietly. You're going to end it. And you're going to start some sort of a new path. And because it's some sort of a big idea that you have, it's the beginning of something, right? The Ace of Swords is about triumph. It's about clarity. It's about honesty and truth as well, getting your way, saying things that you want to say. And so I feel like what you've decided is that you're not going to tell anybody what you're doing. As I was saying, there's death to the Ace of Swords, right? You're not telling anybody exactly what's going on. You're just going to let them watch you win. That's all it is, I feel. Tell me what else the collective needs to know, please. Uh, collective, yeah, we also have uh, Aries Gemini energy here. We have uh, Cancer energy. Cancer energy, too, is like it's all about playing under the surface, right? Cancer, unless they super duper trust you, they're not really going to, they're going to struggle to bring their feelings to the surface. So I feel like that's, you're just, you're just going for it. You're not really telling anybody what's going on. Tell me more about what um, the collective needs to know, please. We have the Ten of Wands. So I want to say that the reason that you've decided to take this new path and go, it's because I feel like you, you've you been dragging around these wands. It's time for you to drop the burdens of everybody else and maybe some of your own burdens as well. And so what are those burdens? They could be actions that were taken against you, actions that were taken against other people that you chose to carry along as your own burdens. I want to say that... Um, it's almost like for the longest time you were blinded by all the things that were going wrong. Maybe you hadn't worked out your trauma yet. Maybe you hadn't, you know, seen a psychologist yet. Maybe you hadn't, you know, I feel like you're you're hiding your face in all of your burdens. It's almost as if you become one with the wands um, and you consider yourself as someone who is maybe hurt or less than other people because you're carrying trauma. Um, maybe you feel like it's not fair because you have all of all of this heaviness to carry around with you and some people don't have that heaviness to carry around with you or carry around with them, I should say. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What is the, the heavy burdens here? I feel like you're, you've decided to just pluck one of those wands and I feel like you're off. You're manifesting something new here. We do have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like what you're what you're carrying around here, collective, is you're carrying around heavy, heavy burdens about relationships that didn't work out. And so the Knight of Cups is here. This is like the, the passive knight, right? The one who is being very careful with what they say and what they do. They don't want to spill spill any of the any of the emotions here. Someone is being very careful. Um, I, I want to say that I feel like you you're carrying around burdens of relationships, whether they're romantically related or not. I feel like uh I feel it almost feels like somebody here has decided that I just need to go. I need to I need to escape from these ten wands. Seven of Cups is here. Seven and one is eight, though, right? We've got um, seven of cups, and I feel like uh, this is confusion or overwhelm, but, you know, we've got the one cup in the hand of the night, and it tells me that you're disconnecting from emotional things, that you've decided that you're no longer going to feel badly about relationships that didn't work out. It takes a lot of work to do that. It takes a, a whole lot of work to do that um, because I feel like, uh, when relationships don't work out, whether they are family, friends, uh, love relationships, it feels like we always take it up personally. And, you know, this is we take it into the heart space, right? That's what the, the cups are all about. We take on take it on personally and think, well, it must be something I did wrong in order to make that person leave. I think that what we don't realize is it's so much less about us than it is about them. And I feel like this is... Um, I feel like you have decided what you're going to do is just drop the burdens of the confusion and the over overly emotional part of it here. And I feel like you're going to disconnect and uh, head forward. Tell me what's on the new path. 
Yeah, it is a new path, right? The Page of Wands shows up. It's, it's an exciting new path. And I want to say that you feel like a kid again. And uh, it's almost like you release the burdens. You decide that you're not putting up with anyone's crap anymore. You're not going to take on any more than you need to take on because it's time for you. I really feel like somebody here is breaking free of the Seven of Cups. You're breaking free of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what cup to take. It's like, it could be somebody here who's decided, I'm not dating anymore. I'm just not doing that thing. I'm going to take care of me. Now you're on this exciting new um, path where you're going to experience new things here. I think you're ready for new adventures, right? We have the um, the wand here and you can see that there is, there's all these little buds that are up here. And I feel like those are all places, things, people, experiences. I feel like you're manifesting all of that. And I feel like you're at the beginning of a brand new path here and ready to throw your wand in the air and say, wherever it lands, that's where I'm going to go. We do have the Six of Cups here. Tell me why the Six of Cups is here. We do have the Three of Cups. And we do have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like after you get on the path, after you start having fun, after you start beginning new experiences, I feel like it's then when you start to open up to people. So the Three of Cups with the Eight of Wands tells me that I feel like you you find a group of people or you know a group of people and you start to tell them what's going on. Life is going really good. Things are moving really quick. Um, the Six of Cups tells me that these are people that you already have history with or nostalgia with. So I feel like the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups is telling me that these are people that are maybe your soul tribe, right? Maybe your soul tribe um, and uh, people that you usually party with, have fun with, maybe drinks with, celebrate with. And I feel like those are the people that you're going to communicate with and tell them what's going on. The other people? can kick rocks. I feel like the Seven of Swords tells me you're just going to keep it under wraps. And I want to say that it's the people who place the burdens on you or, and I mean, listen, like people place burdens on us all the time, right? People come to me with their stuff all the time. It's what I do, right? I, I attract people who are wounded and people, it, it, it's, it's up to me whether I want to take that on or not. So it's a two-sided thing, right? People will place their burdens on you whenever they get a chance to, because it's heavy for them and they don't know where, how to fix it or where to put the burdens. So they'll bring it to somebody who will take it on. They'll find Find an empath who will take it on, right? Or somebody with uh, emotional heart-spaced energy. But it doesn't mean that you have to. You always have a choice as to whether to say, I'm sorry that's happening to you, here's a resource, or whether you're going to take it on as a personal thing. So I feel like you're going to be connecting with people here who support you, who are happy for you, who like to celebrate you. I want to say that you're going to start speaking to these people and tell them what's going on in your life. And it's probably a very small group of people, right? Because the Six of Cups is a lot, right? It's a lot of people that you know that you've got a lot of history with, but the Three of Cups is the is the besties. Like, if you only have one other ride or die, one other ride or die is great. If you end up with two or three, you're rich. <laughs> and I feel like you're going to be telling people what you're up to. Tell me about the um, Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups, or sorry, the... I said it backwards. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Tell me about this. Because I feel like you, what you're doing is you're leaving behind all of the uh, emotional burdens or emotional relationships. They could, some of them, be romantic relationships that haven't worked out for you. We do have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. We have the Tower in Reverse. And we have the Hierophant. So I want to say that you're on this new path of this spiritual teacher. Look, the spiritual teacher can offer advice. The spiritual teacher is the one who does offer advice, right? I, I'm sure for those of you who have been in church, you know that sometimes the clergy person is someone who has studied psychology and they can be someone who can give psychological advice. I want to say that um, that this, this Knight of Cups is telling me that for those of you who are not willing to make the change, because the changes are hard, changes are really super hard because you know that you're going to end up cutting out some people in the meantime, and that's going to hurt your heart. It's going to hurt other people. I feel like this Knight of, Knight of um, Pentacles is telling me that you've been carrying around you, you, those of you who are not in this energy of making changes like soon. I feel like you're carrying around these, these energies for a really long time, and I feel like it's become a mental game for you. You keep going over the details. You keep feeling like you're not enough because somebody as you see it, I don't feel like it's what happened, but I feel like what you see collective is that somebody just discarded you. And I feel like what it is, is the universe moving somebody out of your way that wasn't good for you. And we tend to look at it in a backwards way where we blame ourselves like, oh, it must have been something I did. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't pretty enough or handsome enough, or I didn't supply enough things or yeah, I, I don't think that's what it is. I feel like you're carrying around these burdens because you are the Hierophant. 
Um, so I could be talking about someone who is Taurus. You don't have to be Taurus in order to be a spiritual teacher. This is the Hierophant energy, right? Only because Taurus tends to move slow. Um, somebody who's moving slow on their own path, I want to say. This person has the keys keys to knowledge, keys to the kingdom. They are advising people. You can see these people are sitting and watching this person. They're advising people. The tower in the ver reverse to me as an energy reader is a warning. The tower is coming. So I want to say that the tower is coming for some of you, for those of you who are stuck here with the Knight of Pentacles moving really slow because you don't want to drop the burdens. Why? Because you don't want people to be out of your life. You don't want them to stop talking to you because you won't take on their bullshit right so i feel like with the with the the tower in reverse it tells me there's a warning it's like this the when um i think oprah said it before she's like first it's the whisper it's the still small voice right first it's the whisper when something's going wrong like hey psst, this is going wrong you need to change this and then it becomes a little louder hey <laughs> you need to change this and then all of a sudden the tower shows up and everything falls in right and so i feel like it's a warning that you need to get out of this energy you need to make a decision here judgment card to get out of this energy of carrying on with these romantic burdens because it never it was probably way less about you than it was about them so for some of you, you're carrying the burdens for other people. For others of you, you're still stuck in the mind um, on things that make you feel bad about yourself, like that you don't feel enough. You feel like people that you may have been a burden to other people romantically. Tell me about um, paraffin, please. All right. Queen of Cups is in the reverse with the... Um, with the uh, Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. That's a, it, like I was just sort of explaining that. It feels like the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. And when to me, when the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, she's depleted. She's depleted because she hasn't learned, when, when the Queen of Cups is on her own, um, she is someone who's kind and loving and compassionate and always giving away. She's empath empathic and, you know, people will come up with a straw and try and take all of the energy of the Queen. And when the Queen is not with the other Queens as the Empress is what I'm talking about, because the Queen of Wands is always going to teach the Queen of Cups to drink before they give to someone else. The reason the Queen of Cups doesn't is because she doesn't realize she's an empath when she's in the reverse. And she just keeps giving and giving and giving until she becomes depleted. So I want to say that you've realized the higher self has gotten in touch with you and said, look, the tower's coming. You're feeling depleted. And I feel like you know that the tower is coming and you're feeling depleted, but it's going to take this, the Ten of Cups in the reverse, in order to get you out of this energy here. I feel like you're stuck in a place where you're servicing other people all of the time. Time, and it's time for you to start, even, even if it's a matter of family. I don't care if it's family, friends, people you think are family. The Ten of Cups needs to be in the reverse for a bit. It feels like you need to, you need to tell people in no uncertain terms, you've got me stuck in a cycle and I wish not to be there any longer. Or you silently, silently create a boundary where you create space between you and a person. Maybe it's people who pelt you with questions all the time or they need your help or need your money. And um, as I was saying to, to my young friend the other day who's having this situation, she's a single mom and everybody needs her for everything. You need to stop answering those texts, those phone calls, all of that stuff. You need to stop answering those right away. You need to like, someone who will text you four, five, six, eight times a day, you need to put time and space between you and them. And even if it's only five minutes to start with, maybe it's five minutes. I'm not going to answer that text for five minutes. And then I'm going to summarize one answer and then use five words. It feels like it's, it's a start, right? I want to say with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, you're going to disappoint people in the family by going on your own path and doing your own thing. But this is, has been a long time coming, my friend. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who is slowly getting more and more depleted because they... Um, because they, they are someone who is who is an overgiver or who can't stand to see people in peril. But understand when you when you uh, sort of interject in a person's life to help them, you're keeping them from their karma. The only way that we learn what we're supposed to be doing in this life is by exposing ourselves to our karma, figuring it out, then we can let go of it and then we can move on. So you're actually keeping people stuck by helping them all the time. So I feel like up here is telling me that you've decided that you're going. You've made a change. You've decided that you're going to do it silently. You're not going to help a whole lot of people because I don't want to fight. I don't want to argument. Tell me about the fool. Where are you going here? Oh, by the way, we do have um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here. We have Cancer energy. We have Gemini. We have Aries. Uh, we do have the Scorpio, we have the Tower, uh, we have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy, we have Taurus, um, right, could be any sign really, like the, almost everything is represented here. Tell me about the Fool, where are you going, what are you doing here? 
you've got the lovers. Ah, you've decided that it's time to uh, take a chance, I want to say, on other people. The lovers here and the world card. Ah, look, for some of you, you could be moving across the world to be with a lover. You could be moving across the world to be with someone who is in a long-term relationship, and that would be a very good reason why you wouldn't tell anybody. Like, I feel like so many people, like the Five of Swords is in the reverse. I'm not telling anybody anything because I don't want to fight. It's like people are going to say to you, what are you doing? You met that person online. What do you mean you're moving across the world? Like, I feel like you don't want anybody to tell you what you should and shouldn't do because that's the Queen of Wands. But we do have the lovers. I feel like for some of you, it could be someone that you met online, right? The world is here, the World Wide Web. It could be someone that you met online you're about to have a new beginning with somebody now it doesn't have to be across the world but if it if it is um across the world it feels like it is a long-term relationship for some uh, others of you i feel that the lovers is here with the world because it feels like you're now closing a chapter walking through um like you want to have some sort of a um, an achievement or a milestone with a lover. So I feel like you're moving toward that person. So whether they live across the world or not, for some of you, I'm just saying because the world card is here, but it does feel like you've decided that you need to put everyone else's burdens down and do something for yourself. I feel like you are about to uh, enter into some sort of a long-term relationship. Tell me about that, please. We do have the Eight of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like it's it's something that you decided by yourself. You're very confident. It feels like you might have a job that you can do anywhere. Like maybe you do have some sort of job that you do online or maybe you're online marketing or something that you can do from anywhere in the world. And so you can just take your work with you. The Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups is telling me that I have to stop or detach from people emotionally and giving them everything that they want, right? The Six of Pentacles, you can see there's two people here that are begging. And I feel like you, you are the person who comes to the rescue whenever people are begging for whatever it is that they need and um it could be money it could be pentacles i need your time it could be and i i think that you're always willing to give but i don't think you're getting reciprocity and so i feel like you need to disconnect from that it's time for you to release it and stand on your own here because it is time for you to think about the ten of pentacles right you're going towards someone who has the ace it's time for you to start a new chapter for you instead of servicing everybody else. We've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. I just spoke about it. It appeared, right? So there we go. You have the Ten of Pentacles. They have a Ten of Pentacles. You're getting together with somebody who I feel is ready for you. You're both ready to start some sort of a long-term relationship here. And I feel like... Um, the Nine of Cups being in the reverse is telling me that you don't know what's going to happen from here, that this is your wish fulfillment, but you're not exactly sure what's going on here, but you're going to invest anyway because you need some sort of karmic justice here. You you need to have justice in everything that you've worked toward, everything that you've worked for. You need to do something for yourself. Yeah. You need to take charge, my friend. It's time to just turn your back on people who would use... Like, it feels like people who would use the past against you, like, you used to do this for me. Why aren't you doing it for me anymore? I feel like they see you as the emperor, the one who's got it all together, the one who can do whatever they want when they want to do it, and you're the authority. And I feel like you're finally um, leaving people in the past who would do nothing but suck the life out of you emotionally, that they would deplete your energy, right? Queen of Cups in the reverse. And I feel like when she's in the reverse as well, she's not using her intuition. So I feel like this is a realization. Yep. I gotta go. It's the uh, page of swords here. It's a realization, and uh, it's like some some information you've come along, and you've got to do it. Just gonna leave that right there. Uh, we, again, we do have Libra that came up here. I think it's the only one I didn't I didn't talk about. Yeah, uh, Libra along with all the other signs. So I feel like uh, I'm gonna leave it right here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm gonna go for now. You guys take care, and I'll be back. Love ya. Bye bye.